So I have a well, question. I, I have a question. Can Ozan yeah. Uzik become an household name? Like Mike Tyson, yeah. Anthony Joshua, um, yeah. Muhammad Ali, even Tyson Fury. Yeah. I, let me say something there. Let me say something there. Um, you see, to be a household name is to come quick and do it quick and walk away quick and then do it to so many and you end up quick, 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 quick. That is faster to becoming a household name. Um, the boxing fans, despite how skillful Alexander Yusek is, uh, if you ask a typical boxing fan, he will still prefer action. And that's why they love Deontay Wilder, because that's action. They want to see you smoke weed. Once you step in there, they want to see smoke. They want to see smoke coming out of your head between the next seven rounds. They want to see, they, they, they believe that it's boring. Boring. It's not a crucial way. It's not 190. It's not 165. It's not lightweight. It's heavyweight. Heavyweight is nothing but smoke. They want to see that one shot. They want to see that accumulation of two, three shot knocks you out. But Usi doesn't have that. That's what makes you a household name. So you say, supposed to be a household name because he came in from crucial weight and big, he was undisputed. He has done, never lost one match. He has done so much to be a household name. But he has a long way to go. Because, I'm, gotta, because, because I'm, the reason why I'm asking is that <laughs> yes. Andrews Jr. beat Anton Joshua and his, yes. his, his profile went from basically social media platform went from basically 10,000, 7,000 followers to over a million, basically. Yes. Fury, Fury did the yes. same thing and it didn't grow. Yeah, because it's not a one. Fury is not a one time. Fury became number one because of I talking mean, I too mean, much. I mean, Usyk did the same thing. Basically, it didn't it didn't grow? Because these guys are like you just answered the question. These guys are not one hand, two hand, three hand knockout fighters. Okay, in all you say win, how many fight has you say? How many of those 20, five? 20, 22 now, 14 knockouts. 14 knockout average. That's still good. That's good. But the fan want to see something more than that. Quicker. I than mean, that. he hasn't uh, he hasn't had a knockout in every division, bro. So he hasn't. So, uh, uh, you might you cannot count Charles with a spoon because he retired in his uh, in his corner. Or oh, okay. she's she's alright. Didn't knock her out. Um. Well, Joshua. He could, he, I don't think Uzi can knock and and re, or re everyone out basically. He doesn't have the power. He can punch, but so, he doesn't have the power. So does power, does power become a does power does power make you an household name? Yes, yes. Oh yes, oh yes. You're talking now. Power makes you a household name, and when you have the power, and then. You knock all the men in your era out. You are a household name. The only reason, the only reason AJ is still a household name, hate him or you don't hate him, is because if you're still up till as we are talking right now, as we are still talking right now, bro, it's not even a joke. As we are still talking right now, go through, run through their resume. Bro, run through this resume. You will see what what we are talking. Look, who has the best resume in heavyweight division? You you, you mention AJ. You have Vladimir Klitschko. You have Dominic Brazil. You have Charles Martin. You have Dylan White. You have Andrews Jr. You have Kubra Pulev. You have Alexander. You you have Jamin Franklin. You have Robin Helinus. You have Otto Wallens. You have Francis Ngannou now. You have Alexander Pepekin. You have Joseph Parker. You have Charles uh, Kalis wow. Wow. I can keep going. I can keep going. Eric Morena. Bro, I could keep. Well, how about how about John, Kevin Johnson, whom he he came in quick and did quick. Yeah, the first guy. The, the first guy to stop Kevin Johnson was it was Joshua. Vitaly Klitschko how couldn't stop him. Vladimir Klitschko couldn't stop him. Nobody. Uh, Fury couldn't stop Kevin Johnson. Joshua okay. stopped him. So so now tell me why 
he wouldn't be a cash cow. Look, every every boxer that 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 Tyson Fury ever faced, he can make a quick work of them. He make a quick work of them. I'm also I, I'm, I don't know if also because he doesn't speak English could that be the reason or is from Ukraine not from UK or because no, I think no, no, I, no, no, I, no, no, I think if he was from, he, from? He was, if he was from the, from the US with this skill set, I think he would be an household name, right? You're right. You're right. Or, You're or, right. or maybe it's different because the Amy is not an is not an household name in in America. While Ryan Garcia is, is, and De- Javante Davis right. is. Geographical location also adds to your resume, but in the absence of geographical location where you come from, power dominates geographical location. So, in the absence of power, then you need to come from England. You need to come from America. If you don't come from England or you come from America or you come from Nigeria, with more power, power leg. Yeah, because power, I, I think if Usi was from Nigeria, huh, bro, his, pro, his profile would be bigger than this because we know Nigerians, we, have, we are everywhere, basically. And also, Nigeria, we support our, our own Nigeria, as well. Because Nigeria produces in any field so the name already ran down yeah. in any spot ufc how many nigerians held ufc heavyweight bit ufc a championship yeah. belt how many nigerians are into boxing and are held in belt yeah like ungano is a uh, ungano is an household name ungano is Unga- a household ungano, name ungano is more known than usik uh, it's pretty crazy but usik has achieved way more than ungano Oh my God! It's like because that's a- because because that's what power can do. That is what power can do. You know, that's why for music to make that be that household name is not for him to retire. If he retires right now, if he retires right now, is is one of the greats in this era. But it's not the greatest in this era. The greatest in this era. Is still yet to come forth. The greatest in this era, you have to cross from your age to the fresh block, like fighting with the Anders and them, and beat them squarely. And then you are the great in the generation. Franklin is still there. Franklin German is still there. You gotta cross. You gotta come up. It's not just retire. By being one on dispute. That's what I was asking the gentleman, man. And now they want like like one of my guys was asking, um, was just calling on Deontay Wilder to do too well and beat uh, Shelly Zhang off so that probably he can also have a square full of 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 Alexander Yusei. It's not like that, bro. Gone are the days of no ladder climbing. Bro, you gotta climb the bro, ladder. Now. I, I think you're right. A, a knockout. No, I'm just check. I'm just checking something right now. Joshua knockout of Angano has over forty million, forty point one million uh, views. Because this and all together, be- all together, see over sixty eight million. Wow. All together. Joshua- and Fury, do, and Fury doesn't have that. Why would you Fury have it? Why? Yeah, Fury man, is crazy. only number one. Was when when Fury was number one on paper. That's it, because he talks. He did all that. His open eye. I we always say, it. why did Fury left left uh, left England, where AJ was. To come to America to get a bell from Deontay Wilder. Why? That's why I'm telling you. Anthony Joshua has served heavyweight division and has always been a rescuer of heavyweight division. Right after the days of Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson, even the all of you, he's always been the guy to rescue heavyweight division. I'm telling you, who makes heavyweight division relevant today so next time you see someone insult aj 
tell that person, bro, you gotta rethink what you're saying. And that's what I've been trying to let these guys to understand for a very long time. Go, go back to resume. Go back to resume. Who has the best resume in heavyweight division? Who took all the credit? Who took all? Or who, who, who cut down all the undefeated guys? Until he beats, until until Dillian White get to where he was when he was active. Who gave him that fourth zero? His agent. His agent. Yeah, that German Franklin. He got his first knockout defeat from agent, and there's so many, there's so many. Charles Martin. He first punched by AJ. And when AJ finished with you, do you also see what I noticed? Do you also observe what I noticed? When AJ knocks you out, it's difficult for you to come back and be active. Bro. Hello? Yeah, bro. Have you noticed something like that? Not yet. I haven't noticed. Yet. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. AJ knocked. The people AJ has knocked out. Did he want to come back? Can, can, we, say, can we say the same about Wada as well? Yeah. Can we say the same about Wada? Because Wada haven't fought the boxers of AJ's class. I know, but but I think Wada he, he I think I think Wada handed Dominic Brazil's career, right? Yeah, let's look at it this way. Let's look at it this way. Let's look at it this way. Brazil, yes, he ended it. But who first beat, beat him? Joshua beat was him. After for him. Joshua fought him like, like two years before. Two years after. Why that fought him? Check. Two or three years after. Is that me? So after he lost to AJ, whom did he beat again? Whom did Brazil beat again? And he went back for three years. Who did he fight? And that was the closest. And then have you ever thought if Wilder did not knock him out in the first 60 seconds or first 60 seconds? That's what I said. Have you ever thought what could have come back on Joshua? I mean, on, on, on Wilder? No. He was ready. See, see, one fight opened my eyes watching Wilder's fight. Arthur Spitzer. What's the name of that guy? Is it Arthur Speaker or something like that? Arthur Speaker, yeah. Arthur Speaker, yeah. Yeah. I saw the guy beat Wilder round one, round two, round three, round four. Wilder only knocked the guy out in round eight. He was, this guy was winning all the round. The same thing Parker did. Parker won from round one. And we're still waiting for that one, one right hand. And that one right hand never came till the end of the round. What if you have intelligent boxers like Parker who hold onto that right hand and never let you display that right hand? What's going to happen? Hello? So if miraculously AJ had knocked at Parker, he would still be making noise until he meet another stronger man that would take the right hand and still fight it. Yeah, but uh, uh, Look, I think uh, uh, you dress knocked Parker out cool, but Abraham for surprise that Parker of came course. back stronger now, bro. Of course. Joe Joyce knocked Parker out. Joe Joyce is still a voice to be reckoned with. Joe Joyce is an awkward fighter. He has only one problem. Joe Joyce has only one problem. And if he can fix that problem, because he has a good gene, but the good thing you have is to some extent of the damage you get. Hello? The damage you get with the bulldozer, like Shelly Shang, four, five make the difference. Despite the good gene you have, despite the solid gene you have. So when bulldozer hits you six times, you're weakened. It becomes a class gene. So that's what happened to 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 my brother. Um, Joyce, yeah. 
Joyce. Joyce, that's what that, that, that's what exactly what happened. Joyce. Uh, I hope he comes back though, because I I would love to see him uh, in this miss. I want to see the Joyce back. The Joyce is still, the Joyce is still a nice, good, great boxer. He has to come back. You know, he has to come up. You know. So my brother, unless put it, let me get my my girl to walk until I come back. 